Dianara Sanchez. I'm in seventh grade at Busca Lupe Community School. Well, it was inspired by Alberto Villalobos, and he had an exhibit here in November, and it was about resilience, and it was focusing on the 43 students in Mexico who went missing. They still haven't solved why they've gone missing, but his artwork was reflecting, like, what was probably happening to them or what their parents were feeling and just like the search parties and everything. And he had, we made masks because most of his art in the exhibit were masks and they like had different facial expressions. I chose to do the butterfly, I don't know, because in the time I felt very connected, because I made this in like November, so I just felt very connected towards butterflies. I just wanted a giant butterfly on my mask, but then as I was painting it, Ms. Habde had like mentioned to me that, and I knew this before, but it just hadn't come to mind, but that the monarch butterfly is like the symbol for immigration and immigration, yeah. So I then felt more connected towards it and I just decided to keep going. And then the flowers, I don't know. I'm very extravagant, so I put like a lot of things on everything. And I just had a bunch of flowers lying around, so I just put flowers. <laughs> His message was resilience. So I think from what I took on that was that your art doesn't just reflect your feelings, but it can also reflect what other people are feeling and like groups of other people. Your art can help bring awareness to the problem so that people should pay more attention to it. And then your voice can give people who normally don't have a voice a voice. <laughs>